everybody and welcome to my first let's play uh, i wanted to do my first let's play of the legend of heroes trails of cold steel uh now real quick i'm gonna go ahead and actually load a save here this is a completed hard mode save and the reason being is i wanted to activate some things or uh, one thing for new game plus so um i'm going to be activating this and only this the max bonding points and we'll be doing the game on nightmare difficulty uh, the reason I'm taking max bonding points is because I want this to be something of a uh, completionist uh, playthrough of the game. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm getting all of the notebook uh, pages filled, etc. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, you need to have... Um, well, there are certain things in the game called uh, bonding events with other characters where you learn a little bit about their backstories and you gain some uh, updates to their character profiles in the notebook. Um, well, on your first playthrough of the game, you do not receive enough bonding points to actually do that. So in order to complete your character notebooks, you have to do at least two playthroughs of the game. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the, uh, the unlimited bonding points. It's the only thing I'm bringing with me. Hey, everybody. Future David here. Uh, Quick aside, a little bit of an oopsie happened during this first recording. I forgot to switch the audio settings for OBS, so there will be no game audio for this first video. This is fixed in the following video. Sorry about that. Uh, for New Game Plus for uh, Trails of Cold Steel, whenever when you load a completed save, you get to decide on what you bring with you. Uh, so you can start a uh, New Game Plus uh, playthrough as vanilla or as overpowered as you want. Uh, so this is going to be as vanilla as it can be, while also giving me everything I need in order to do a completed playthrough. Otherwise, I just have to go through and play the game a second time, or reload an older save to get a character notebook updated, which... That's annoying. I'm not going to do that. Look at all these dead dudes. Tragic. Um, so just as a quick ahead... If you're at all confused as to what's currently happening right now, that is intentional. Uh, this is the tutorial section of the game. Uh, it does uh, this particular section of the game is takes place a little bit uh, later into the game once it starts properly. Um, but uh, so yeah, if you're confused at all about who these characters are, don't worry about it right now. Uh, we're just gonna breeze through this tutorial section as quickly as possible to get to the uh, actual start of the game. Uh, so that we can explain things a little bit better. Um, I am going to be speaking over voice dialogue. Uh, the main reason why uh, is because there is a lot of voice dialogue in Trails of Cold Steel. A whole hell of a lot. Uh, if I didn't speak over voice dialogue sections, I probably just wouldn't speak at all. Uh, there's especially a lot of voice dialogue within the first couple of hours of the game. Roger Dodger. Oh, those stern faces. Roger. All right. Uh, one thing that will be missing from this um, brief tutorial section, this brief prologue section of the game, are the actual tutorial pop-ups. Those only happen the first time you play through, uh, when you create a new game. Um, so, if you're playing along, or if you're also going to be playing the game for the first time. You'll be getting some tutorial pop-ups in this section. Robots? Robots. Battle time. All right. Uh, quickly, just going to go ahead and pop flash here. Delay these guys. I will uh, try to explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Uh, but not during this initial section, just because there's a lot of mechanics and a lot of skills that are at play in this section that you won't actually have access to until later in the game. Which is part of the reason why I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, probably would just be best to just go ham. 
Uh, you are garbage. Get out of here. Um, use Luminous Ray. That actually did not do a lot of damage. That was very disappointing. Can I get both of you, or can I only get one of you? Wow, I, I can only get one of you. All right. That guy, then. Flash. Ooh, sorry about that. I accidentally hit the mic there. Or the pop filter, rather. What are you shooting? Arc Slash. You can hit both. Sweet. Do it. Um. Oh, Luminous Ray kind of sucks. That's why I didn't do a lot of damage. Yeah. Crit. Oh, this thing will be dead before Emma gets that attack off, so it didn't matter what I used. It's a dead Ruby. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that bit. Did you sneeze? Those are robots. Autonomous weapon? You mean like a goddamn robot? Alright, next up. This little guy. Drag him to the edge of his aggro range, and then when he turns around, beat the shit out of him. Arc Slash. Pretty easy peasy. These little guys really aren't. Oh, dang it, I did it again. These little guys aren't really that much of a threat. Keep going. Two more fights coming up, and then we got our first boss fight. Come here, sir. Uh, so I'm actually re-recording uh, this playthrough. This is going to be my uh, second time, uh, re or my second time doing this uh, this playthrough. I, mm, well, so <laughs> let me explain. Uh, so I did a couple of hours of the game so far, uh, but I've changed up my uh, recording method, and I've changed up uh, the software I'm using to edit, but I had none of the original none of the original footage or none of the original uh audio recordings for the commentary, so I'm just decided to start over since I wasn't that far into the game. Uh just wanted uh this to be a little bit easier to listen to than the, the first ones I uploaded. They weren't very uh weren't very good because I was trying not to interrupt um during voice dialogue sections. I very quickly realized that that for a 30 minute video there was maybe five minutes of uh, me talking and the rest was just the game um but also so that my portion of the audio wasn't as much of a pain in the ass to listen to it wasn't as grating on the ears or it won't be as grating on the ears i fucking hope emma let's just swap you out for for uses not really using your arts and i need the physical damage to get through this <laughs> Also, use this is more likely to unbalance so that we get those link attacks. All right. All right. So, that is all of the basic bitch enemies. We just got the boss now. I'm not going to break any of these boxes. Uh, you get items from boxes, but in this tutorial section, n nothing you pick up will be transferred over into the, uh, the, the first part of the game. Relia Canyon, Crossbell State, Archaisms. Uh, so, <laughs> throwing a lot of uh, words and terminology at us pretty early in the game. I uh, wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, so, one thing that bears mentioning is that 
uh, Trails of Cold Steel takes place in an established universe. Um, even though this is the first in its little series of games, the Trails of Cold Steel games, it's not the first in the Legend of Heroes series. Um, there's been quite a few games prior to this. And Legend of Heroes, uh, a lot of the games take place in parallel to each other at the same time or just shortly after one, out of one another. So there's going to be a lot of terminology and a lot of events that characters make reference to that aren't going to, be, that aren't going to make too much sense. Uh, it's because they're common knowledge in the established universe, but not necessarily common knowledge to the players. Uh, the game does a good job of explaining most of these throughout uh, as you progress through the game, but there's still going to be some things that are going to be explained either through exposition dumps or throwaway text in books and stuff like that. Uh, but most of what doesn't get explained is not essential to the storyline. All right. Uh, this is our first boss fight, uh, and this boss fight is pretty much over at this point. Uh, I'll explain it more as we get through the game, but I've pretty much set this fight up in such a way that these two boss enemies will never get a turn. Uh, so we'll never get to see them attack. They're not going to get any chance. Because what's happening, and again, I'll explain in more detail later, but what's happening is I've set Reen up in... Uh, a specific spot and he's using a specific attack that moves them down the turn order on the left there uh and will keep them down in the turn order on the left so we will never ever get to see either of these two attack at this fight um uh, yep might as well Um, noble commands again. Keep everyone's stats up. Armor break. Oh, wait, I think this was the third time I've done that. Yeah, so that was a waste. Oh, well. Almost done. Boom. All right. And it should be done here. There we go. Fight's over. Again, none of my rewards, none of my XPs from these fights are going to matter. They don't transfer over. Robot, go boom! Safe to what? Don't leave us in suspense. Wonder what happened. All right, just gonna skip this. That's just the uh, intro cinematic. It's a little bit lengthy um, and sort of spoilery. Um, Introduced. It has uh, all of the characters that will appear in the game, um, or all the important plotline characters. Even you know some villains that are going to be. Uh, trying to keep their identities secret and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's just a little bit spoilery. There's no reason to watch it. And I'm sure you can find the cinematic on YouTube somewhere. Ding dong. Where? Where? I'm sorry? Where the hell are we going? I don't even know anymore. The black hair boy here, just uh, 
hopped on a train. Didn't even know where he was going. I'm going to be, uh, you see that little turbo thing up in the top right? I'm going to be doing that, uh, for sections of the game like this, where it's mostly just, um, people and objects moving with nothing really going on, just to get through them a little bit faster. Uh, there's not really a whole reason, whole, whole, very many reasons to let it linger. Wham. Oh, wham. Krista, Heimdollar, outskirts. Green Chaucer. Me too, Reen. Me too. Chance encounter coming up. Somehow she didn't see him. Even though he was standing five feet from the fucking uh the fucking door of the uh the train station and she was looking straight ahead when she first stepped out. She didn't see him. Yeah, pay more attention and get glasses, please. I, I, I don't I don't know, maybe it's me, but I wouldn't describe a uh uh beautiful scenery as being just like a postcard. I mean I get where the statement is coming from, but I feel like there would be better ways of describing it. Hmm. Green did not sound enthused about that statement. Maybe we'll end up being classmates. Mm -hmm. Doing his best Sigmeyer impression. Mm -hmm. Oh. I I doubt there's enough people going to this school to make an actual school. There's like no more than like 30 to 50 students at this school. That's the that's the spirit ring. Go with the flow. Nope, not doing any looking around. In fact, I'm probably just going to go ahead and end this first episode here. Now that we've officially started the prologue. I will pick this up and we will jump right into the prologue chapter on the next episode. Thank you all for watching.